Let's do the three by three. <laughs> what bug? Visual Ascension 4 hits besides the Wii Nut instead of on the Wii Nut, so it doesn't deal damage or apply Electro or do anything that it's supposed to do. It's effectively as if Hooray 4 was disabled against him because they coded his fucking hitbox in the wrong place. Because they're, they're just really bad at their job. Raiden works here as well. Raiden doesn't work quite as well. Because basically... The, 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 the reason why Thundering Furry as like... An, it's not really an archetype, like it's Curry. But the reason why Thundering Furry is... A good team... Is because when you normal attack on Razor... Your actual normal attack hits before your burst. Right? So that means that if there's a seed on the ground... <clears throat> The, and you're, you're Bennett infused, it's always gonna hit the seed with Pyro before Electro, which means that it's gonna burgeon. And if you have a way to apply... Oh, fuck. I disconnected. If you have a way to apply Pyro and Electro, there's no upside. Like, if you already have a Pyro unit on your team, there's no upside to triggering Hyper Bloom over Burgeon if you're gonna be applying Pyro to enemies anyways, right? Like, the upside that you get from Hyper Bloom over Burgeon is that the... You don't have to deal with the burning reaction, right? But if you have Pyro on your team anyways, then you, you don't have that upside anymore, and getting Hyper Blooms instead of Burgeons is just strict downside. Because it's single target instead of AoE, and it's the same damage, right? The thing about Raiden is because her thing doesn't proc on, at on like normal attack, it procs on any type of damage that you deal, it's often going to proc before a normal attack, and that's going to hyper the seeds instead of burgeoning them, which is not what you want. But Electro MC also procs on normal attacks. So it seems, at least from what I've seen so far, it seems like Electro MC also has the, like, pyro hits always a priority before the Electro hits. Oh my, I, 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 I fucking, I, I, I hate this. I, these controls are so bad. Like, these controls are actually so fucking bad. God. Like that, that's, it's so dumb. It's actually so dumb. Bro, the fact that I want, I want to get one of my, one of my mushrooms to move somewhere, right? So I press one because I want the number one mushroom to move somewhere. And then I click on where they want to go, but there's another mushroom there, so instead of it moving it there, it just changes the mushroom I'm controlling. And then I'm just like, oh, okay, well, that this sucks. Because the, the select unit button is the same as the move unit button. But the select unit button has higher priority than the move unit button. So you can't move a unit where there's already another unit. Or in the vicinity because the hitbox for, like, the, 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 whatever. This is so fucking terrible, and I hate it. Like, this is actually so fucking bad. Like, that is... Like, it's really hard to fuck up the controls for your fucking RTS game. Alright, you, you literally have select unit, move unit. And then, in this case, you'll, like, use a skill. And they manage to fuck it up. How do you manage to fuck it up? How? Like, that's impressive. That is actually impressive. Like, I'm actually speechless. Like, this patch truly is the worst fucking patch we've ever had, man. Yeah, like, everything about it is just so bad. Well, they're not grouping, so... Fuck me, I guess. Bro, what the fuck? They, like... They stagger their attacks like that? And it's just literally impossible to get them grouped.
Fucking bullshit. This terrible RNG. I dashed! I was in the middle of a dash! He cancelled me out of my- SHOOT ME IN THE FUCKING HEAD! It's fine. It's fine, I'm having a nice time. I love Hoyoverse, man. What it exactly was the bug? I explained it earlier, but basically, Barbara has a Hydro Ring, right? But it doesn't actually apply Hydro. What happens is every, every time a new enemy enters the area, or rather, at a baseline, it applies Dendro around you every time it heals, which is pretty slow. It's like fucking every five seconds or some shit. Or it's, like, it's like every three seconds. I don't remember exactly. I think it's every three seconds. Right? But on top of that, in order to make it so that if an enemy enters right after, they don't just, well, stay unaffected by the Hydro, they made it so that when a new enemy enters, it re, like, pulses with Hydro, basically. Right? So it pulses with Hydro again. Which means that if one enemy comes in, and then another enemy comes in, and then another enemy comes in, then you'll have the baseline pulse, and then a second, and then a third, and then a fourth. Right? And with four, well, you have three hit ICD. So that, that, the, the initial one, right? will pulse again. Wow, crazy. So you get an additional instance of Hydro. That's how it works. That's how it still works. That's the baseline, like how Barbara's E Hydro application works. However, it used to count Dendro seeds as entities as well, so this would be five. But the thing is, if this generates, if you're against three enemies, right, you do this, and the first time, well, you trigger a seed, right? And then you trigger a seed against the second one, and against the third one. That's already three pulses. from the seeds and then another three pulses from this which means you're at six hits which means that it pulses again on all three enemies another three hits it pulses again on all three enemies another three hits it pulses again on all three enemies another three hits it pulses again on all three enemies and so if you have three enemies because it's three hit icd then each pulse will generate three seeds, and each three seeds will create a new pulse. And it chains with itself over and over to have a really, really fast, basically infinite, uh, fast hydro application. What they changed is they didn't change the way that it works, they just made it so that these seeds don't count as new entities that make the thing pulse again. And because they're not new entities that make the thing pulse again, well, you don't get as many pulses. They can't chain with themselves anymore. Which is sad. Like, that could have been a really cool, neat thing that Barbara could have had. And it's really sad that they removed it. But also I kind of get it because it kind of would have broke Nilo teams. Like, it, it, it really would have. Man, why'd you have to remind me of that? It's one of those things where, like, the only reason they fix it is because they don't want you to have fun. And it just makes me angry. Why did you have to remind me of that? <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be alright. Look at this. Look at this damage. Look at how crazy this is gonna be, chat. One rotated! 